um, I'm Grant. Um, I'm here at ISA Fire Security, and I'm going to ask Dexter here what he does. I'm a fire alarm technician, and I do uh, building automation and repairs on all types of fire alarm systems. Today I'm going to show you different parts of a fire alarm system. This is your main panel. These are your, this is your CPU. These are your loop devices and power, power supplies and amplifiers. As you know, this is the pool station. Yeah. This is the strobe. Yep. These are the smoke detectors here. This is a smoke. This one is a heat detector. Okay. I got the part numbers listed on each one of these so I'll know exactly which part you know goes where. Okay. This panel it has it has the uh, opportunity to have two loops which means you can have double the devices that you got connected to here uh, that helps you like if, you, if it's in a big building you know you can expand without having to buy another panel to add to it so you can just add to your to your panel um, there's your speaker and I got this one set up whenever you uh, pull an uh, alarm goes off the speaker will announce it. you can pull that pull station just pull it down okay. push it in and pull it down okay may I have your attention please may I have your attention you step please? On the a fire has been reported in the building a fire has that. been reported in Sell. the building yeah please please acknowledge the building. do not Sell. use the May I have your attention, please? Okay. May I have your attention, oh, please? Yes, please? May I have your attention, please? Right. A fire has been reported in the building. A fire has been reported in the building. Let's do it again. Please proceed to the stairway so, to access the building. Acknowledge. Do not use the elevator. Silence. May I have your attention, please? And reset. This just as you, if it's not a fire alarm, you can just do that and you can actually talk in it. Hi. Okay. Hello. <laughs> now, um, let's say that one of these devices are missing. And it's going to take a few minutes. It shows up at this point here, loop one, device two, which this is device two that's missing. These are all addressable panels because a lot of the the old conventional they weren't addressable so you couldn't really tell exactly where it was say if you got 13 smoke detectors on one loop you, you'd have to go and walk and try to find out which one it is but with these being that they're addressable you know exactly what location that they're in they so are. addressable is like the newer kind yeah okay everything a lot of stuff now is addressable because it's a lot more simple to so how many um can this panel hold? This panel can have up each loop I think is 196 devices, 198 devices so you times that times uh, 10 and then you, know, you can... So it's the system trouble mm -hmm. acknowledged. I acknowledged it so mm -hmm. now... So now up here in this menu it tells you what where the point could be. Okay. Fire alarms. FM1. FM1. Mm -hmm. Zone 001. Yeah, and then up here. L01. Yeah, which means loop 1. Okay. And this means module. And that actually tells you the address. Okay. So now you help show me which address is, is the problem. Yeah, and you can look underneath here to, so, so you can see the label. Okay. This one? That's correct. Yes, sir. 